let's look at task two. Now this is the first of the spreadsheet tasks. And a suggestion I have for you is before you even look at the task, look at the spreadsheet. Look at the sheets and try and get a sense of what's on them and what you might be asked to do. So here we have the membership fees sheet. It's just a list of fees. The pipe band members. Well, we've got the names of the pipe band members, their membership type and a column waiting for the total fee that I can see is going to have to come from the membership fees table. And then the summary, usually when you see a summary, that is either you're linking sheets together, which is probably more national five, at a higher level, it usually means some kind of count if or sum if function. Well, let's just go back to the question and it's asking us to find out the total fees paid by each member looking at the number of people in each membership type. So please only print the adult members. We can do that through a filter. Sort this on surname and first name. That is a sort. In fact, there's a custom sort on two fields and printing as a value view and a formula view. So let's tackle this part of the question first. Looking at the total fees, well, let's go into the pipe band members uh, sheet and let's do a VLOOKUP to pull across the total fee for each membership type. I would suggest the easiest way to do this is go into your, well, there's different ways actually. We could go into formulas and insert function and we could find it that way. Click on OK. Or perhaps what you could do is start typing in equals VLOOKUP get it going, open the bracket, and then go to your FX, your insert function, whichever way you want to do that. You have this function argument box that appears. It gives you the step-by-step -step, um, way to do the lookup. Lookup value, what are we looking up? We're looking up the membership type. So we click on D4. The table array, where are these fees held? Well, we know they're held in the membership fees sheet, so we have to switch back to the membership um, sheet there. And then we're going to highlight from column A. Now, you could use the column headings if you want to. You don't actually need to, right? So I'm going to click on Senior, and I'm going to highlight all the fees for all the categories. Now, if you have to copy a formula down, we have to fix it with the dollar signs. Function F4 is the quickest way to do it. Everything has to be locked in, so it keeps going back to these cells to pull across the correct fees. Thinking about the column index number, you've highlighted the category, that's column A, that's let's call it number one, column one. Where is the total fee? If you were to count, Column A is column one, so it's one, two, three, four. The fee is in the fourth of the four columns you have highlighted. So the column index number needs to be four. It's pulling up 170 pounds, which is correct. And then the range lookup is, if it's an exact match, you have to type in the word false. Don't know why you have to do that, but it's the word false that you need. Click on OK. And here it's pulled the total fee 120. And I can either left click and copy down or left double click quickly, like click click, and that will do it. Now, I'm just going to add currency here. It doesn't um, have it in cell E3 where the heading is. So I think I'm just going to go and I'm going to put in um, the, the, the currency there. So let's just switch there to currency. And I think what I'll do is just take off the decimal places. So the next thing we need to do, we're only looking at the adult members. So let's just go in and apply a filter. We can go in through editing, sort and filter, and we're going to apply the filter. Drop down and select just the adults. Click on OK. They're all £170 total fee. And it's also asking us to print by surname and then by first name. So clearly we must have a few people with the same surname. So surname and then uh, first name. So again, we're going to go into editing here and sort and filter. And because we're sorting on two fields, we need the custom sort. 
sorting first by surname, add a level, and then sorting by first name. Click on OK. And there we have the information that now has to get printed off. So when printing off, of course, values is as we're seeing it. And if it has to also show the um, formula view, it's control, then the shoulder key, that's the key below the escape key on the left hand side of your keyboard. And just to scroll along there and that will have, well, now that's one thing actually, is if you are printing out to show the full function, you would have to uh, stretch that out to make sure everything is visible before you print it out. So that's how we tackle task 2a. Let's now move on to task 2b. Okay, so task 2b is looking at saying there are a few changes with band members leaving and joining. Please complete the summary worksheet indicating the number of people in each membership type and the total income from fees. Again, value view and also formula view. Now what I've done actually is I went to back to the pipe um, band members and I've um, undone the filter. So now we've got everybody and their total fee. So when you're asked to summarise from, in this case, the pipe band members um, worksheet, this is where we have to do a count if to get the number in each membership type, then a sum if based on the total fee uh, to get the total fees for each member, so members category. So let's go into summary. I'll just uh, open up the full, the full sheet here. Again, the way, perhaps the easiest way to do it is in cell uh, B4 to find out the number of people in each membership. We're counting them. If you can remember to do equals count if to get started, open the bracket and then you can go up to the FX box there and it brings up the, the function argument box. All right. So the, the, the range is you have to go down through all the membership types on the, or in the pipe band member sheet. So we have to actually switch across and we have to highlight or control shift arrow down. This is what where we're counting from. It's from this list here. And remember, we're going to have to, to um, um, lock that into place. So function F4 to, to um, I beg your pardon, it's just F4, my keyboard, it's function F4, F4 on the keyboard there. Criteria, we have to switch and, and, and click on, we'll switch back to the summary sheet and we're starting with the adults. We're not dollar signing that because we want to copy down A4 to A5 to A6. We've locked the range in. Criteria, we don't need to lock. It's returned there 15, so click on OK, and uh, there it is. And from there, we can just copy that down, and that brings across, it's counted for each of the categories. Same with the total income from fees. This time, it's a sum if equals sum, oops, sum if, open bracket, FX there. Again, the range, we're still having to go down through all the membership types, so we do have to switch back to pipe band members. And we, are, we, we still need to highlight all the members. It's based on this information. All right. Again, we need to lock it in because we're copying this formula down. So with your F4, lock it in. Criteria, again, we're switching back to the summary sheet. We're starting with an adult in A4. We're not dollar signing that. The sum range, click in there, switch back to the pipe band members because this is where we have um, all the total fees. So starting in cell E4, control, shift, arrow down or highlight, but just remember to lock that in as well. Just take a moment to look at the range. Locked in, criteria is not, the sum range is locked in. You'll see again, it's returning 2550. Uh, let's click on OK, and that pulls across that income from fees. And then I'm just going to copy that down. So that last part of the task, using a count if and a sum if to get the total income from fees and the number of people in each membership type.